What's up, Rockstars and Lambs? It's Josh Cooley coming to you from Studio J Rye. Um, it is Saturday. We finished the week at the salon, and I am waiting. We're I'm waiting for my for my ride to get here because we're going to um, a little dinner party, like wine, cheese, nipple thing, with a really great friend and client of mine. And so, um, I, I don't know. I'm really like all about it. This has been a rather eventful week. It's been kind of a long week, if you really want to know. Um, we did um, a lot of different stuff this week. I mean, it was the last week of the month, so we had, um, you know, a product sale in the salon. Joyco was number one in my salon always, and I'm really happy about that. Our minority sales are up, and um, I just want to thank you all so much for supporting the retail at Rockstars and Lambs and making everything amazing. And um, letting me know and reaffirming to me that, you know, you like me. You really like me. <laughs> it's my, my Oscar speech. I, you like me. I am. Um, I'm really happy. This week was really cool because I had a chance to go back for another appearance on um, After Dark with Dr. Mike. Um, we're having a lot of fun being on the show. Um, we have more appearances scheduled and more fun things coming for you um, on the radio. And I'm excited about it because um, I've never thought of being on the radio, but I have so much fun for those two hours. It's two hours that I get to just talk about whatever the hell I want to talk about. Um, it's like the blog live, honestly. That's what I love about it. It's like me blogging live. And, and when people have the chance to call in and talk to me about those things, I get so uber excited because, um, I love interaction. I don't think you guys know that. There's a lot of times when I don't answer messages or I don't retweet things because they're irrelevant to what's going on. And the radio show gives us a chance to, um, really, really, um, dive into topics that I'm really all about. Um, this week we talked about like bulimia we talked about um, blogging and gossiping and the real housewives of New Jersey and uh, my obsession with those things and I'm so happy that I get to be random like that on the radio and one thing that makes me happy is that I wouldn't do the randomness if I didn't get feedback from you guys when I don't get feedback I get really sad um, not because I don't think people are listening but because I just don't think you want to listen to me that's a victim mentality and that's one of the hardest things that I have to overcome in this world because I just don't feel that that's adequate to who I am as a person. I'm such a big personality that um, inadequacy and feeling low and down is not a is not an option. So it's funny because I took a friend of mine on the radio show with me, Miss um, Lisa Conway went with me, and um, she's a local performer and she actually is the manager of the Independent Records down here. Um, Independent Records, for all you that know, is like the largest local record store chain in Colorado. We um, the store down here is doing really top amazing sales and stuff like that. But one of the questions that were that was asked of me because we have a topic to go through and Dr. Mike asked me is like blogging and things like that and he says, do your friends, um, do you blog about your friends? Do you gossip about your friends? And do your friends pay attention to everything that you say? It always seems like my friends pay attention to the bad things that I say in the blogs. And so when he says, do you think that your friends actually pay attention to everything? No, I don't. And um, I go, I don't know why they don't. I go, because I support them in everything that they do. But I think I worded that wrong. I really do. Um, my friend was funny because she, she blurted in and she was like, I think because as somebody who's a personal friend of you, we know who we are that are really, really close to you. And we know that we'd much just rather hear it from you. I think personally it saves them a lot of time. They don't have to click on links and they don't have to read. Um, when they do read, I'm really excited. Um, and so if you are a really close friend of mine and you read the blog, let me know. I mean, just let me know that you like the blogs and the and the tweets and things. Obviously the tweeting and the Facebook and the Instagrams and the, the Josh Cooley universe and the Studio J. Ray universe of things is not everything. Like, you, I, not everybody has to see every dang thing that I do in my life. Um, you know, posting about being uber drunk, I wouldn't post about those things. In the day, I probably would. Um... I don't do that anymore. It's just not relevant to the personality. You know, um, I would really love a radio show. I think it would be a lot of fun to do a weekly radio show. Um, I told a client that today, that that would be just wonderful if we had that happen. She goes, would you have the time for it? We would make the time for it, you know? I feel like in 2013, with the book being um, up and, and working on the book um, all the time and trying to go through and edit material for Hot Mess, the book, I think that's kind of a cool thing. I think doing um, a radio show would be really amazing, and I really am very excited to start working and doing things with Joyco and um, expanding what my brand is and what I'm all about. And so I'm so excited and happy and thankful to all of you because without 
the salon, without rock stars and lambs, without the clients that make rock stars and lambs, there is none of this. There's none of the funness. There's none of the zeal that comes with it. If you guys have a chance, um, my last little um, push for the day is for you to go to accoladesonline.com. That's Accolades Magazine. Um, I have a column in there that runs every, I think it comes out quarterly. I'm not sure. I have to ask my editor. But I just know when she gives me a due date. Um, but Accolades Magazine. Go there, and on page 22, Living Fabulously is running, and what we're talking about is standing up for things that you believe in. And it does go into a situation that I had in the salon, but even though it's a magazine for young people, I want them to understand that sometimes we have moments that we have to look deep inside and think, mm, am, I, am I just talking out of my ass, or is this really uh, something that matters to me? Go online, accoladesonline.com. Um, Check it out, page 22. Check out the rest of the magazine because it's great. It's a wonderful little mentor read for great um, high school age students. And I'm happy to be part of this publication. And so um, when you get a chance to do that, also check out rockstarslums.blogspot.com, the official Rockstar, the Rockstars and Lens blog. We haven't updated it in a couple days because I've been severely busy this week. Um, I look like Mariah Carey slash Oprah with my bags under my eyes. And, um, you know, I need some collagen and some Botox and some Juvederm this week. But... Get online, check all those things out, love you to pieces, and um, I will see you next week sometime. Mwah. Love you, Lambs. Bye.